This is a Siku 1418 Kloss Haxler die cast model. CLAAS is an agricultural machinery manufacturer based in Harswinkel, Germany, in the federal state of North Rhine Westphalia. Founded in 1913 by August Kloss, CLAAS is a family business and one of the market and technology leaders in harvesting technology. It is the European market leader in combined harvesters and considered as world market leader in self-propelled forage harvesters. The product range also includes tractors, balers, mowers, rakes, tedders, silage trailers, wheel loaders, telehandlers and other harvesting equipment as well as state-of-the-art farming information technology. CLAAS employs around 11,500 employees worldwide and reported a turnover of roughly 3.9 billion euros in the 2019 financial year. About 78.5% of sales are generated outside of Germany. The beginnings of the company go back to 1887, when Franz Kloss founded a company in Klarholz for the production of milk centrifuges. From about 1900 onwards, he also manufactured other agricultural machinery there, such as straw binders and cutters for mowing machines. The official foundation of the company took place in 1913, when the son of Franz Kloss, August Kloss, informed the responsible office in Herzbrock that he was manufacturing straw binders with two locksmiths and one unskilled worker. In 1914 his brothers Franz June and Bernhard Kloss also joined the company. The company was then continued under the name Jabber. Kloss, the fourth brother, Theo, officially joined the company as a partner in 1940. After their return from the First World War, the Kloss brothers and sisters moved their company to Harswinkel in 1919, where they bought a disused hard stone factory and continued production. The export of Kloss products now also began from Harswinkel, initially to Holland, France and Belgium. In 1930, the development of the first CLAAS combined harvester began, initially as machines using the forecut principle. The first CLAAS straw baler was produced in 1931. In 1936, the company launched the first combine harvester designed specifically for European harvesting conditions, the Combine Harvester GER. Madresh Binder MDB. This was then mass produced from 1937. Until the production was stopped due to the war in 1943, approximate 1400 machines were produced. At the same time as the 1000th Combine Harvester was built in 1942, development of the Kloss Super began. This came onto the market in 1946. By the end of production in 1978, more than 65,000 units had been produced by this Combine Harvester family. In 1956 a new factory was established in Potterborn. This was now the third location besides the plant in Harswinkel and the Christophorus hut in Gütersloh Blankenhagen, which was built in 1948. In 1961, the new CLAAS Baylor factory in Metz, France, was added, which has been operating under the name Usines Kloss France SA. Since 1969, Helmut Kloss, the son of August Kloss, became managing director for engineering in 1962. By then CLAAS was already the no. One combined harvester manufacturer in Europe. 1969 saw the takeover of Joseph Botts AG in Solgau with a factory for forage harvesting machinery. One year later, the Spicer company from Göppingen, which specialized in forage harvesting technology. The company continued to grow steadily and presented new products for forage harvesting such as mowers, tedders, windrowers, loader wagons and trailed forage harvesters. In 1978 Helmut Kloss took over as chairman of the management board. Since the 1990s, the company has strengthened its international presence in non-European countries. New production and sales locations were established in India, 1989. The USA, 1999, Russia, 2005, China, 2012-2014, and South America, among others. With the acquisition of a majority stake in Renault Agriculture in 2003, CLAAS expanded its product range to include standard tractors. 
On February 11, 2003, the 400,000th combine harvester left the production line at the main plant in Harswinkel. In 2011 the Lection 770 set a Guinness World Record with 675.84 tons of grain harvested in 8 hours. With the construction of the new development center for electronics in Disson, Lower Saxony, CLAAS set the course for another important future field in 2017, the digitalization of agriculture. Since October 1, 2019 the company has been led by CEO Thomas Bach. CLAAS is well known as harvest specialist, offering combined harvesters in various sizes. The largest model series is the Lection, which has been produced since 1995 and is now in its fourth generation. The Lection 8900 has a maximum output of 790 HP and is available with tires or crawler tracks, Terra track, on the front axle. Both options allow a top speed of 31 miles per hour. 50 kilometers per hour. The cutter bars are up to 13.79 meters wide, and the grain tank holds up to 18,000 liters. CLAAS offers also the two smaller combine product families, the Tucano and Avaro. In August 2021, CLAAS unveiled a new product line of harvesters called TRION. The range consists of the TRION 700, TRION 600, and TRION 500 series. They are powered by Cummins engines. The CLAAS forage harvester is called Jaguar. CLAAS is considered as world market leader in the silage chopper market. The manufacturer produces and sells tractors from 47 HP to 530 HP. The Zerion is the biggest tractor in the CLAAS product range and is easy to recognize with four equally sized wheels. The AXION model series is available from 205 HP, Axion 800, to 445 HP in the Axion 960. Since 2019, CLAAS has offered an optional track system for the Axion 900 series, instead of the rear wheels, called Terra Track. The Arion model range consists of tractors ranging from 95 HP, Arion 410, to 205 HP, Arion 660. The Arion model range includes the Arion 400, Arion 500, Arion 600, and Arion 600C. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and like our Facebook page.